Yeah, it's your boy Hudson 9 I'm out here doing an interview with Underground Legend. You know what's going on? Tap in. Tory Lane? Yeah, how did that whole thing come? Uh, shout out Tory. Shout out Tory Lane, you know what I mean? He's a real nigga still, you know what I mean? Wait, this video is sponsored. Ninja's Arena Legends is a new PvP based game where the dance moves are almost as fun as the gameplay itself. Just Gas Rappers KHR and IJF Preach. The game is a 60 player battle royale where players survive attacks from not only other players, but the wilderness of the map itself. There's four different game modes, solo battle royale, trio battle royale, a free for all where four players face off against each other, and finally, one on one tag matches. The full game's coming out July 15th, so make sure to click the link in the description to add Hunter's Arena Legends to your Steam wishlist. I grew up in Eritrea for like 10 years, and I went to Kenya for like 3 years, and I went to Canada for like the rest of my life, you know what I mean? So we just switched all the type of like, you know what I mean? The type of like, you know? When I reached was pretty hard still, like, you know what I mean? Just like growing up with no, like, you know, no for a single mom, like having like, and I was the oldest son and stuff, you know what I mean? Like, you know? So it's pretty hard, but like, so you had, like, I learned how, like, you know, kind of responsibilities and stuff, like, you know what I mean? Then we moved to Kenya, and then we stayed in Kenya for, like, two years, and then we had an uncle and stuff. We sp he sponsored us from here, from Saga, and then we came to Canada, and then just, yeah. When I first came to Canada, like, 2011, September, and I went to Saga. I went to Loyola High School. I was there for, like, a year, and then I went to Kitchener Waterloo, like, my mom found a job out there, so we just, we just moved out there and stuff, yeah. People talk down on it, like, yo, they don't know where Kitchener is, or, like, what Kitchener is, you know? I don't know, yo. Well, it's not if like, you're not from Toronto, they think, yo, you're, like, that's the There's a poverty struggle everywhere, you know what I mean? Just because, like, you know, just because you're black, living in Kitchener world doesn't mean you have it nice, you know what I mean? The same way, like, you know, how Kitchener people, I mean, Toronto people have it, like, you know what I mean? The same, people go through the same things, you know what I mean? Shout out to Jump Off. Shout out Greenfield, shout out. Shout out, what else? Yeah, what else? Yeah, CV, shout out Taylor C V. You know what I mean? My voice from out there, you know. Shout out Taylor C V. Shout out Jump Off. Yeah, that's pretty much about it. It's the kitchen and water is a small city, you know what I mean? Everybody knows each other, you know what I mean? Like growing up everybody played sports and You know what I mean? Like shout out to Jamal Murray, you know what I mean, from Kitchener, oh, you know what I mean? Okay. Jamal Murray, like you know. Sure. Kitchener. NBA, yeah. So you, you're saying you're influenced more, not just with Kitchener or not just with the Rich or whatever, but your influence is kind of like everywhere. So my influence is like from just from everywhere, you know what I mean? Like, you know, just from everywhere, like, you know. True. Just back, like, back in Africa, like, we listen, like, I listen, like, like, Kenyan music, Eritrean music, and then back home, we listen, like, a lot of Akon, 50 Cent, like, you know what I mean? A lot of just, like, you know what I mean? I've listened, I've heard about Justin Bieber when I was in Africa, but I, th I thought it was a girl. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I'm not even joking. Like you know, I mean? Ash, like uh, Ash, thought it was a girl, and I like you know, never say and like never say never. All that like you know, I thought it was like it was a girl. I realized she was a boy when I came to Canada. You know, what I, mean? I didn't know none of that about that. Yeah, I didn't. I thought it was a girl the whole time. You know what I mean? Because I didn't watch no videos. I just heard it, but like you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. just heard his music. I didn't see no videos on none of that. You know what yeah. I mean? How do you feel now that like it's kind of like I guess African music is now becoming? Like, I feel good. Appreciate it, but like you know, I just feel like it's about time. Like you know, like you know. Just like everything, just multicultural nowadays. You know what I mean? So I just, I mean, it's just easier. Like you know, people, if people fuck like you know with the melodies, harmonies, and stuff. Like you know, you know what I mean? Just because people don't really care about like lyrics, bars anymore. You know what I mean? People like they want something they can just bump to. You know what I mean? If you heard my music from two years ago, it used to be like straight rap. Like you know what I mean? I used to like you know, I used to try like fit in and shit, bar for bar. I just trying to fit in and shit. Like you know. When we start, when I first started making music, it like it just used to be him and OT, no, no auto tune or nothing. Just my boy's basement, just straight like with a mic and a laptop. You know what I mean? We just like after school every day, we just link up, yo. Let's make music. Let's like, just try this and like you know. And then we start getting like good feedbacks. And that's when after we start taking things serious and shit, you know. Straight from school to the, the niggas to go to the studio. So you're in like high school or something? Yeah, yeah bro. Niggas in high school used to judge me and shit. But like, niggas in high school, yeah, high school they would go, <laughs> they would go to fucking football practice, basketball practices, and then like you know they see me and my niggas like just go up like you know, yeah. ball up, go out to the studio, this the thing, and you know, we were the bad guys and shit. You know what I mean? I never know like smoke pit kids, you know. Yeah. You know those smoke pit kids, you guys. Facts. People so, bash so. up literally every day. I don't know. Say 8 a.m. we go to school, 3 p.m. we go to the studio, we'll go home at like 12 a.m. We'll just send it out to one of my boys and he tells us, yo, I mix and match, send it back. Bro, 
You know what I mean? At the same time, the niggas send it back the same way. We send him a song, he send it back the same thing. He's telling me, yo, yeah, I changed the name of it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I mixed the master, but he didn't even do shit. You know what I mean? We're just young, but like, yo, like, yeah. you know what I mean? On SoundCloud, it's sounding like, you know what I mean? And people actually fuck with it too. They're giving us good feedbacks. It's sick, man. That's how we just continue to work. Like, we didn't take it serious at first. We're just like having fun with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So how'd you get more to like the melodic shit? Melodic shit yeah. is when just people started fucking with it. You know what I mean? I was I wasn't even taking it serious like that. I never like, you know what I mean, I always knew I like I'd be something. I would stand out and everything. But like I never seen myself as an artist or none of that. You know what I mean? I started making music and then after I started getting like good feedbacks and stuff, everything. But like you know what I mean? That's when I started taking it like serious and stuff. Like yo, okay, like you know, I started watching other artists and stuff and just learn from there like everything. You know what I mean? I see Drake. I'll say. Hey Boogie, fuck yeah. with Dave East, fuck with Roddy Rich. It's super hard to like, you know, try to like, like, see how like, you know what I mean? Every time I try to listen to his music, I'll be like, Yo, okay, how did he do that? How did he do that? How did he switch this, this, this and that? How did he do that? Okay, okay, like I try to learn, like, you know what I mean? When you came to Canada? Yeah. Also, like when you first came to Canada, were you paying attention to the, the local scene? No, not really, because I didn't really understand it. Like, I wasn't like really like... My cult, like my culture growing up, like you know what I mean. At first, I would just like listen to whatever was popping, you know what I mean. So what was the first song that I listened to? I think it was Vanessa Koala, right? Oh fuck, who was yeah. that? Is that even Frenchy, yeah. even Frenchy. Oh, the song, oh. even him and CP. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All of them popping, when they were on the wave, you know, like they started it off yeah, and stuff. Yeah. So like, that's what we were. Stuff. I was listening shout to. Shout out man. French. Yeah, sure, like, yeah, you know shout out to French. Shout out French. Shout out to French. Shout out, like you know what I mean. You were just in the French video, right? Huh? You were in the French video that just. Yeah, showed. I was just in the French video. What's called? Show people. Show people. Yeah. 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 Shout out Dre. Shout out Tory Lanez. Shout out like you know Young Tory. All like all them niggas are actually like you know what I mean. Obviously, you just dropped your song with Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez? Yeah, how did that whole thing come to uh, Shout out to Tory. Shout out to Tory Lanez, you know what I mean? He's a real nigga still, you know what I mean? But we had this, like, same engineer that, like, that, like, mix. He used to mix engineers, all his stuff, and he mixes his, his cousins and stuff, so he, like, had to connect with all, like, his cousin and stuff. And he just hooked, hooked it up, you know what I mean? He told me, oh, I think Tory Lanez will fuck with this song. So then he just sent it on, and Tory Lanez fucked with it, and he just hopped on it, you know what I mean? And then yeah, and he was in Toronto that day. He told me, uh, like you know, I mean, come shoot the video since I'm in Toronto. So we just had the video and just. I'm a big fan of his craft, you know. What I mean, I like and I appreciate what he does, you know. What I mean, for the city, for the country, everything, you know. What I mean, it was good still. Like you know, it was good look for my part, and it was good, like, you know. What I mean, yeah. it was good still. Let's say after you dropped the Tory Lane song, is everyone all of a sudden like, oh? He was nah, my boy even before that, the okay. when I dropped Walking Like Pray for oh, Me, okay, The sure. Gets, and all that, that's when people start showing like. My love for like I've been doing music for like the past like what three, f three four years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, three four years. Like you know what I mean. I mean like when I started doing music, I was like he was right there. You know what I mean. Since high school and stuff, you know. True. But yeah, people should start showing love. Like when I started taking it like super serious, you know what I mean. Yeah. And then yeah, as artists, people don't take that in. But like yo, we notice what's real love and fake love. Like artists know what's like you know. Yeah. Especially yeah. if I know you. And I can tell if you show me a real love, genuine love, or like if it's fake love, you try and just like, you know what I mean? In case I make it, you know what I mean? <laughs> people like, you know, people do that, you know what I mean? Yeah. They just show you love in case you make it, no, you know what I mean? Bad. And they can just tell like, you know, what's real, what's fake. And people show you love, like, the people you don't know that show you love more than like people actually like, mm. fuck with you, you know what I mean? True. It's fucked yeah, up, but shit. like, you it's life, you know what I mean? Shit. You know, man, your boy has nine. Shout out, shout out, you know, my boy DC O T nine. You know, I'm on the way. You know, I mean, don't sleep. La.